and I assure you, your life is going to change. I promise you this. Since you're not giving me any money, I'm not going to say money back guarantee, but I assure you, you will start realizing one thing that, well, the first thing, aren't you already changing your habit? When I'm telling you to do this, aren't you already changing your habit? What's the first habit that you're going to change? You're going to first go and buy a diary instead of buying an ice cream. Well, a lot of you can afford to have an ice cream, that's not a problem, but get that diary. You don't need a diary. Most of you are using instruments to capture this presentation. Instead of capturing the presentation, why don't you make a list of your goals? All said in good humor. Strongly recommend that you go in for a nice, sturdy, tough, something that will not wear with age because you're going to make a very, very solid list. A lot of people say manage your time well. People will tell you poems. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is mystery, today is the present, which is why we call it the gift. How many of us? How many of us have a problem with time management? Well, thank you for being honest. And for all the other people, I'm impressed. <laughs> you know, great. We all have. There's a reason for it. You know what is the reason? Because God has been very unkind. This is one thing he has given equally to everyone. 168 hours per week. But hold on. I'll give you 180. Would you like to know how? Uske paise lagenge because time is money. I'll tell you. I'll tell you shortly. See, time is your greatest personal asset. If you lose money, you can still regain it. If you lose your health, well, you'll need to work. You'll need to treat yourself well. You'll need to take care of yourself and regain that health. But time gone is time gone. You can't get it back. All of us have the same time to start with. But most of us end up on different sides of the clock because we think, Adi var chhe. We to kaal kare so aaj kar, they say no, but the other one you heard, aaj kare so kaal kar, kaal kare so parso, chinta ki kya baat hai jab jina hai barso, kal kar lenge. And then there is another movie called Kal Ho Na Ho. So you've got to say, Mai Hoon Na. And make sure that you work on it. Right? So, see, I realize every time I talk about a movie, you people clap. So I think I'll have to keep showing you some movies again and again. How many of you have a problem distinguishing between the urgent and the important? I'm glad. You see, in India, everything is urgent. When you're sitting in the office, somebody will come and say, Boss, ye kagas dena jaldi se bana ke statement, boss ko chahiye, urgent hai. You know, the rate at which the boss asks for paper, first of all, I don't think he does. The rate at which the boss asks for paper, he must be one big paper wala. Because everybody, when he wants something to win, he says, boss ko dena, urgent hai. Actually, the focus should be on the important. The urgent, you must quickly be done with, get it out of your way. What do they say in Gujarati? Rastamati Kadi Nakam. And make sure that you focus only on what really needs to be done. Your day should be full of things that are going to take you forward instead of firefighting. So when you start writing things down and allocating the priority to that particular task or job or passion or whatever, you'll start realizing that you will spend more and more time on that. You'll get time for everything. You'll even get time to read junk mail. If junk reading junk mail is part of your goals. I'm not asking you to be mechanical. I'm not asking you to work like a machine. We are here only once. I don't know about second and third and fourth lives and all that. We are here only once and we need to kick it up. We need to live a lovely life, isn't it? People, time management experts, coaches, all great people are going to tell you, prioritize your schedule. I'm going to tell you, don't prioritize your schedule. Are you surprised? Yes, you must be. Because I'm going to ask you to schedule your priorities. That's it. And forget everything else. Nothing else matters. Some five people are getting together at Vastrapur to burn some candles. If you seriously think that burning that candle is not going to bring law and order in Delhi, don't do it. Just because you need to be there and someone hopefully will catch your picture and put it on Twitter or something like that. There are other ways to get onto Twitter by achieving your own goals. 
If you believe in something, fight for it. If that is your priority, put it there in your list and then make sure that you work on it. I'll, I'll take questions at the end of this. Forget everything else. I think at the end of every slide, what I say is, forget everything else. The problem with most of us is, we want to do so much. We want to do so much that we forget what is real priority. Can you see this person on your screen? Who is it? Sorry? Lord Buddha. There's a very interesting story about the Lord Buddha. He had already reached that particular level where people would come to him for advice. A milkman from a neighboring village came to him and said, you are a bhikshuk, you give gyan and in return you take alms. Why don't you please come to our village and give us wisdom? I'll give you milk. I said, okay, I'll come. One day the Buddha landed up in this village and he went to the milkman. The milkman greeted him and said, you're welcome, sir. The Buddha gave him an earthen pot for the milk. As the milkman was about to pour milk into the pot, he found that the earthen pot was very dirty. There was a lot of mud in it. He took the earthen pot and he cleansed it thoroughly. He cleaned it up completely and then he poured the milk into the earthen pot. He said, this gentleman is going to give me knowledge. Let me give him milk anyways. He poured the milk. The Buddha collected the earthen pot and started walking away. And the milkman says, hey old man, hold on. Why are you walking away? Why didn't you give me gyan? He said, I just gave you. What was the lesson? The lesson was, when you learn something, when you get something, Learn with an open mind. Pick up that milk with a clean pot. Anything that you have which is dirty, anything which is blocking things, anything which is clogging your thinking, anything that is clogging your own networking inside your body or your brain, first of all, clean that. Think with an open mind. Listen with an open mind. Learn with an open mind. Because if you're going to have lots of blocked thoughts, they're going to clash and then you're going to say, one more guy has given me one more perspective, which one do I follow? You have to follow your heart. And the signal to the heart sometimes probably comes from.